Hey guys, what's going on? It's Eli, and um, that's right, it's been a little while, but um, we're back at it. Uh, me and my special guest, it's, yeah, it has been quite a while since we've done a, re a review collab, but we are definitely, we've definitely saved, uh, you know, I saved uh, this for us to review, and joining me uh, is, of course, my good friend, um, Elijah Goring. Good to have you back. Always, my pleasure. Yes. Um, so that's right. Uh, you go ahead and tell the viewers what we're, what, what we're reviewing. Oh, goodness. Um, we're going to review The Princess Bride, all-time classic. Correct. And, uh, yeah, this, it is. You're right. A beloved classic. And, um, it just, it's, it's really great because, you know, it's, it's all about, you know, this grandfather reading his, uh, sick grandson a, a story, you know, a fairy tale, and, we see the fairy tale happen, you know, come to life and such as he's reading the story. And uh, it's got a great cast. The story, of course, is great. Just everything about this movie is fantastic. And we'll start with you, Elijah. Like, what do you have to say about the film? Um, I think for me, I think the movie, I thought it was good, but, you know, it's a very all-time classic. It's a very... Yes. I think the concept is very interesting, but matter of fact, it's a very interesting concept, but I, I've never seen a movie like this before, but... It started when a friend of mine highly recommended the movie to me, and I watched it on Disney Plus for the first time, like, last year. Oh, yeah. Uh, COVID, and I liked the movie. I thought it was incredible. You know, it's it's a unique movie. It's like a romantic, it's like a fairy tale, romantic comedy or, so, or something like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I like the movie, though. Yeah. You're right. Like, it is uh, comedy and romantic and adventure and such. Um, and it's, again, it's got a great cast, like, um, like, we could talk about the cast, for, for example. Mm -hmm. I met, uh, well, Carrie Elwes, isn't it, um, the guy from Saw, and Blumhouse's Black Christmas, the remake, from two years ago. Right. And, and, and also Ella Enchanted with, uh, Anne Hathaway. Uh-huh. Okay. I, like, I, I met Carrie, actually, um, uh, last year. Uh, virtually, I mean, he he was the nicest dude I ever met, and he was very caring, and, you know, he's a really good actor, and I, I never watched his movies before. I think I saw his movie called, I think one of his movies I saw, um, Liar, Liar, I saw that. Oh. It was pretty good, with Jim Carrey. Uh, yep. Yeah, he did a good job in, in uh, Princess Bride. Everyone loved that movie. Actually, I wouldn't say love. Everybody are obsessed with this movie, and it's, it's, a, it's a comedy, and adventure film and romantic i mean I, I mean i i thought i thought the movie was pretty pretty cliche but it was a really good movie and you know is a is an interesting is it's an interesting concept to the film but i think the concept was very int intriguing to me because you know it's like a, it's a, a book come to life and you know in reality it's, it's a different story yeah uh-huh and um the others, like, uh, I think this was, I want to say this was Robin Wright's, like, big, like, feature film debut and such. Been, like, in a few, uh, just a few minor films and such, but this was definitely her big time, um, and, mm -hmm. and would go on to be in Forrest Gump and Silver, so many other great films, and, uh, and, uh, um, the end, like, Wallace Shawn and Andre the Giant and Mandy Pat, Patekin, yeah, they were, they were all, they, the three of them were good in that, and, uh, you know, Wallace Shawn being the bad guy, and famous line from that film, and, you know, Wallace Shawn, inconceivable, mm -hmm. <laughs> have to mention that, and um, Chris Sarandon, Prince Humperdinck, uh, would, you know, he's best known for Fright Night, and best known for being the voice of Jack Skellington in The Nightmare Before Christmas, and um, Count... Uh, Rugen, yeah, and Christopher Guest, who plays him, but Six Fingers, um, and, yeah, I almost forgot to mention, because Peter Falk, the grandfather, you know, net reading the story to his grandson, uh, played by Fred Savage, um, would go on to be another uh, big star, but also he would, he became a director as well, um, and, um, the others, like, uh, yeah, Mel Smith, as the albino and Peter Cook as, you know, the, the priest, you know, marriage is what brings us here, you know, today. <laughs> that's, that's funny. And, 
uh, classic line there from the film. And, um, of course, we can't forget about, of course, Billy Crystal's appearance in this as, you know, Miracle Max. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, everyone loved that line from, I think Carrie's line is, as you wish, you know, just, just that's it, you know. I yeah. I, that's an ironic line I ever, I ever heard in my life, you know. Yeah. I never heard of that before. I, I, I'm telling you, I never heard anything like that before in my, in my entire life. And, you know, it's very relevant because, you know, he's a really, it's a, I mean, he's a really great actor, but, you know, I, I'm surprised that, like you said about Robin, Robin uh, right, which is uh, Sean Penn's uh, wife or husband or something like that. I'm, Ex-wife. I heard that was her big, her big debut. You know, I know she did um, other movies like White Oleander and Forrest Gump. Right. Uh, Forrest Gump was one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh-huh. And, uh, and I heard she's, and now she's directing a movie called Land. With, uh, under her directorial debut yeah that already and, that already came out yeah last year or a year before like this year I'm not sure. i think might have been early i think it, i think it was earlier this year <laughs> i mean yeah it's i think the movie for me the princess bride i i thought i thought the movie was very great but you know it's so funny how it's like the princess bride and the princess diaries you know i love the princess diaries i love that movie a lot right and, it's it's the same title like you know i i think i think for me the princess bride is a very relevant movie you know it's a classic film for all generations and, yeah you know, and i i would say the princess bride is one of my favorite movies of all time good good yeah and uh another thing is because like famous lines from that film like yeah as you wish and inconceivable um oh yeah and from uh inigo montoyo you know my name is inigo montoyo you killed my father prepare to die <laughs> that's another that's another famous line from that and as i just mentioned from the priest you know marriage marriage is what brings us here blah 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 and um oh yeah and, and the sequence with miracle max because of you know billy crystal's appearance and carol kane as 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 miracle max's wife valerie just a funny sequence, and right before, right before it ends, you know, bye bye boys, have fun stowing, you know, have fun stowing the castle, and um, yeah, and like Andre the Giant, like yeah, uh, the late great Andre the Giant, as uh, you know, Fizik, Fizik uh, he was great. Like both Inigo and Fizik, they were great. Like you know, because and and because they were first with uh, Wallace Shawn's character, um, <laughs> you know, because they're not bad, because you know. They're just, like, these two funny guys, like, because just, how did they, how did they, like, okay, I think because uh, Wallace Shawn, like, Wallace Shawn's character, like, does, uh, as he's talking to them, you know, like, when he says to Inigo, when I found you, you were this drunk and such, and saying to Physic, and you, just like, do you want me to send you back, you know, unemployed in Greenland? Like, I think because, you know, he found them, I guess, and, yeah, as he just said, and, you know, um... But of course, like, uh, you just wonder, because why are they still with him? This is, I don't know. But we do see, because as the film goes on, we cut back to those two, because they, they join, they help, and they, they find, they find Wesley, and they find, and, you know, they find Miracle Max, and they help Wesley, who is really on, you know, still unable to, like, move and such, you know, his, his, able to move his body, like, they, they help out, and, Anigo avenging his father because uh, Count Rugen was the one who killed Anigo's mm -hmm. Anigo's father, and uh, I just love that because you know, as he's still saying and shouting, "My Anigo, my name is Anigo Montoyo. You killed my father. Prepare to die!" And right before he's killing him, he's just like, "I want my father back, you son of a bitch!" And he kills him, and yeah, Count Rugen is the only is. Well, I mean, Wesley at one point does die, but he is, but you know, he is resurrected with the help of Miracle Max. But Count Rugen is the one, probably the only one who really dies in this film. Um, and for Prince Humperdinck, because I feel kind of well, we didn't really mention uh, Prince Humperdinck that much, but you know, just being this jerk and just, just you know, just uh -huh. marrying, wanting to marry and have Prince, you know, Princess Buttercup to her to to himself, and he doesn't die or anything. But what's funny is that because. He surrenders, and he's he's tied up to the chair, and, you know, all four of them, they 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 escape and make their way out, and that's a happy ending for all four of them, and um, even, like, those scenes with, 
cutting back to uh, the grandfather and uh, the grandson, pretty good. And even when those, it was pretty funny because even Fred Savage, like him play. Uh, no, the grandson never had a name. I don't think. Do you remember? Do you remember what the grandson's name was? No, not really. Okay. I, so. I feel well. Even the mother does. The mother uh, of the grandson, well, played by Betsy Brantley, like she makes a small appearance literally at the beginning of the film, but that's the la that's the only time we see her. I, maybe she meant, maybe she said his name. I, I, honest, I honestly can't remember. But those times when Fred Savage, you know, he would just just be uh, and such because of those kissing scenes. I remember that very well. And um, even when he finally just decides to just hear what's going on, you know, because when Wesley and Buttercup kiss and. And I, I almost forgot to mention, like, that one sequence with uh, the shrieking eels. That, that You know, in the book, in the actual book of Princess Bride, originally it was sharks. But they really didn't have the ability to do, to do, to make the effect of sharks look really good. I mean, come on, we had Jaws. They couldn't do that, maybe because of the budget and everything else. But the, the sequence with the rats were okay, so... Um, but the shrieking eels were okay because you know, looking at the shrieking eels, they do kind of, they look, they do kind of look real and because it is a practical effect in the water. You know, it it, it kind of works. You know, with there being shrieking eels, but uh, something else like, um, oh yeah, because the ending to Princess Bride is really great because you know after Peter Falk, he you know he finishes the story and like. The last lines from both him and the grandson, you know, maybe you can come, maybe you can come back tomorrow and read it to me. And the last line from the grandfather, as you wish. Just what a way to end the film, for sure. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> I think, uh, dude, I I don't know what to say. God, um, yes, you know, I heard uh, Fred Savage is a big star now, and you know he's executive producing the show called the wonder years which is a remake i would say it's, which is a black version uh, yeah don Cheadle narrating the little boy uh-huh i mean i i'm not i'm not a big fan of fred savage but i know who he is he's from um boy meets world the wizard i, I never watched the wizard though everyone's talking oh, about yeah. like crazy yeah because it has yeah. it has him and and him and christian slater they both starred in that film and also luke edwards from jeepers creepers too big league you know yeah like all these type of movies but i i for princess bride i i feel like i feel like that movie is a very relevant movie because you know generations like keep like kids like growing up and the parents okay the parents for as their as their kids growing up or teens of that movie you no know, and now like years later like generations later their kids they can watch it throughout their kids you know their, their nieces and nephews their sons their daughters and i'm like oh my god that's a very irrelevant idea but you know i've never seen i've never seen a movie like this before but which is kind of <laughs> fun and, and and unique and a, little, a bit scary but not violent just like a little very very a little relevant but you know it feels like a disney movie at, at, at first practically you know but it's, it's a comedy <laughs> Yeah, so, almost. You know, it's weird that a movie like that, which is kind of, it it don't have any grudges, but it's it's a it's a very very fun movie to watch. But it was on Disney Plus on yeah, it's on Disney Plus when it started, so it's on it's on streaming now on Disney Plus. So basically, I I've started watching that movie because you know it was my idea because you know a friend of mine highly recommend highly recommended me, dude, and. I watched it, and yeah. I liked that movie, though. I liked it. It was pretty good. <clears throat> yes, it was. And, yeah, it does kind of, as you mentioned, it kind of does have, like feel like a Disney movie at first. And you know what? Because since it, with it being on Disney+, Plus, and it is, a, it is a 20th Century Fox film, so it makes a lot of yeah. sense. Um, and, yeah, yeah. Yes? I was going to say, man, another, another thing about the idea of that, but, you know, like, like years, years later, the, well, actually, about the film... I think the DVD releases is from um, MGM Home Entertainment, the special edition DVD. Actually, the 1999 DVD before it came out as special edition, like two years later. Uh -huh. So the movie was on special edition DVD since 2001 from MGM Home Entertainment, and now like years, a couple of years, like years later, is on DVD, is on Blu-ray and DVD from 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment and MGM. Yeah, which is kind of very ironic, but you know, I think 
MGM used well M well 20th Century Fox and MGM had a deal since 2006, <laughs> and basically under the home entertainment distribution practically, and you know Sony used to buy MGM, and and you know MGM movies now they put the classic films like Rayman. Uh huh. Kind of losing signal here. Sorry about that, guys. Um, more other films, practically. <laughs> but and you know, I heard. I thought it was. I was at, at first. I thought it was from MGM. But you know, you're right. It's from Fox. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Well, yeah, it is. And you know, because of MGM, like yeah, I've, even like I guess you you got also speaking of MGM because remember because like even Disney one of Disney's one of Disney's parks, Hollywood Studios, just used to be called MGM Studios. So yeah. that's one thing. So, but anyways, but anyways, so I think we pretty much covered everything about Princess Bride because everything about this movie, as we've been saying, just fantastic, a beloved classic film, you know. And it's great that it's on Disney Plus, as we were saying. And um, just yeah, just everything about this movie is great. And do you have anything else to say? And any last words to to wrap up the review? Oh. Uh, yes I liked it and I would say four stars and <laughs> two thumbs up and you have to watch it on Disney Plus right now it's on actually it's now streaming on Disney Plus you can watch it whatever you want by, the t by chance yes as we've been saying yeah well I give this well I rate this I give it 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 stars because it's a great film you know Princess Br it's Princess Bride what is there to say and just you know how this movie turned out is just amazing, and just its style and theming and the feel to it. You just you get the idea. It's just great. So <laughs> it was great. I've I, it's true. So anyway, so this was great for us to finally review the Princess Bride. And thank you very much, Elijah, for joining me and for us reviewing Princess Bride. Anytime, my best yeah. friend. Yes. You too. And don't worry, because, you know, as always, because me and him, we'll, we'll definitely be re doing more review collabs. Like, um, oh, well, for example, like, I one thing is, well, we could do Princess Diaries. Yeah, that's who, or... Forrest um, Gump. I can't think of a movie. I think I Hannibal. Said, that would be good. Which one did you say? Hannibal, Hannibal. I already did Hannibal. Oh, man, I missed it. Yeah. Well, I also, I don't know if you heard me, I also said Forrest Gump. There's Forrest Gump, and we can also do the other, the other movie with Fred Savage, which being Wizards. I'm sure he heard me, but you know. Um, I gotta watch that movie when I get a chance. I never watched the Wizard though. Yes. Yeah, you. We both have to. I've not even seen it either. So, anyways, so he gives it four stars, The Princess Bride, and I give I give it ten out of ten. So, it was great to have you, Elijah, and this was really fun to do reviewing The Princess Bride. Um, <laughs> yeah th again thank you very much for joining me elijah anytime yeah anytime bro so so yeah once again thanks to him uh we hope you enjoyed our review and any last words like saying goodbye and such yeah um stay safe and watch the princess bride when you get home or when, when you get bored or anything <laughs> like that it's a really fun movie to watch and you'll love it well put, well put. And for me, uh, same thing to what he said. And again, thank you for watching. Uh, and th this has been our review of The Princess Bride. And until next time, for both me and Elijah, we'll see you guys in the next video slash review video. Take care, peace out, and as you wish.